Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do some glitter placement and this was requested by Gwendolyn. I'm going to start off like a normal Manny and I'm going to put on my base coat. I'm using Nail Teaks Formula 2 and I'm just going to apply that and let it dry down and then I'm going to go in with this Essie polish and it's called To Buy or Not To Buy. It's a very light purple color. I really like it. And so I'm going to go in and apply the first coat of it. I think I end up doing two coats of this one. Um, you know, Essie can sometimes be finicky, but this one really wasn't too bad. You know, these lighter shades can be tricky anyway. <laughs> but I had received some of those loose glitters, and I think it's a great time to do one of these videos. So here we go. We're going to go in with that second coat of To Buy or Not To Buy. And you can see the little shimmer in it. I'm so glad that's showing up on camera. It's just so fine and so pretty. So I'm going to get this second coat on. Get it to dry down. Very pretty. And I'm going to put a little super dry on here to help these glitter stick. You just could use anything, any kind of clear coat. I wouldn't recommend a fast drying one. But anything that, you know, stay tacky for a little while so that you can have time to place these glitters. Do a little clean up with Woody here. She goes, no, I'm a ninny. I have to. And I'm going to use my Woody stick and I'm going to move the camera around. I've got a little dot, dot of the super dry and I'm just wetting it, wetting the orange wood stick, Mr. Woody, with it. Just so that I can grab these little bitty glitters. And you just go in and place them and kind of tap them down anywhere that you want them to be. Um, those little stars are really hard to see. They're kind of just blending right in with the polish, but I could see them. And you just go around and put as many or as few as you want in any arrangement. You know, whatever makes you happy. And just be sure to tap them down into that tacky coat so that they stick really well and lay flat. And there we go. And so to finish this one off, I'm going to apply some posh top coat, kind of seal them in and help them lay more flat so that they don't get caught on my hair or, you know, get caught on anything really. But you just cover it over with some of those, some of that top coat, capping your ends. And that is it. That is all I have for you today. I really hope you enjoyed this one. Please leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about it. That is all I have for today. Thanks for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself.